together. Um, the other issue, I want to uh, get back to the point that I made earlier about the role of state government in decommissioning process. But before I do that, I, I want to get to this voting issue, which concerns me. It's actually an issue that has been raised for a number of years. Every person up here as United States senators has to cast some very difficult and controversial votes. And occasionally those votes are distorted and put onto 30 second ads. That's our reality. We live with that. Is there any reason why every vote that you cast should not be made public? Right down the line, uh, Madam Chair. I think there are, when we vote. Very briefly, please. Maybe yes or no is the answer. Um, uh, role, those votes I don't believe are public. All right, here, my point is just give me an answer. We have to cast, you know, we cast votes about whether we go to war or not, of some consequence. They are made public. Any reason why your vote should not be made public? You're saying yes. You think there are some occasions when they should not. I hear that. Yes. Uh, Ms. I, I agree with that and would add that if there are security-related matters, those are not made public as well. Well, that's a big word, security. I mean, we can hide a whole lot under security. Mr. Apostolakis? I agree with my colleagues. All right. Mr. Magwood? Um, the vast majority of our votes are public. Mr. Ostendorf? Senator Sanders, uh, every single one of our Fukushima-related votes that come to us in a secular paper, when the voting process is complete, those votes are all made public. Well, you know, I happen to think that unless there's some extraordinary circumstance, votes should be made public. That's just my own view, and that's an issue I want to pursue. Uh, 